Sandy Cheeks. Black Squidward. Black Luigi. Whoever blows off the last dollar loses. Oh. <laughs> Black Luigi wins, Black Luigi wins, Black Luigi wins. Who had the best catch? Black Luigi. Sandy Cheeks. Black Squidward. The Third Sister. Mm. That's a Carl Jr. shake for sure. I think that's the Grimace shake. It's actually pretty good. You want to try some, Daisy? This is 4th of July. I'm ready to pop these firecrackers. Don't pop them on me. What a police say. I don't police like that. So my mom's birthday's coming up, and I wanted to get her an early birthday gift. Oh, the shoes. Thank the shoes? you. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie. I watched a preview episode of ABC's The Prank Panel, where every day people prank their loved ones with the help of legendary prank spurts, and it inspired me to do a prank on my mom. So I had to take her brand new shoes, get the biggest balloon I could find. This balloon literally looks like a trash bag. Throw the shoes in there. Ooh, I can't believe they both fit in here. Put some food coloring in there. Oh my God, my mom is about to be so mad. But guys, it's just a prank. I literally bought the exact same pair of shoes. I'm going to surprise her with them afterwards. But anyways, here's where the prank went really wrong. This is where karma hit me because look what happened. Bruh, no way. I mean, what can you say? Karma's a pitch, I guess. But anyway, but the prank must go on. So I had to improvise. But let me remind you guys, tune into the prank panel this Sunday at 8, 7 Central on ABC and stream on Hulu. Surprise. <laughs> Paris, what is this? We, uh, me and the girls, we froze money in there for you to get out for your early, early birthday present. Oh, my God. You got to get it out. You know what I'm saying? You got to work for that money. Oh. <laughs> huh? It's gross. <laughs> and it's getting my clothes dirty. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Paris, why are you? Santa Claus. You 
you froze my shoes. No, I didn't. I didn't. You froze my new shoes there. No, I did not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But <laughs> Those are extra shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Trying seafood for the first time. Potato. A potato flew around my room. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. This must have been the, one of the best tomatoes, potatoes I've ever had. I think it's because of the juices. Look at the drip on that sausage. Oh my God. I don't know what dinosaur this came from, but it was delicious. Baby lobster. Yeah, I don't know if they cooked this lobster all the way because it was a little hard on the outside, but... Actually, I'm not even sure how you're supposed to eat this. How are you supposed to eat this? This thing is literally hard. Where's the crab meat at? Crab arm? I've never had a crab arm before. Like, I always see people opening these. I have no idea how to open these. Oh, wait a minute. There's like a little tool that you're supposed to use. So let me go ahead and use that. You know what? This is so annoying. Like, this is like eating a sunflower seed. Like, you're doing all this work just for a little bit of meat. But I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too bad. You know, it was decent. Shrimp. I ain't gonna lie, I've never liked shrimp in my life, and it's still just as nasty as I remember. Ew! Egg. Now, who don't like eggs? This egg was delicious. Oh, my God. Corn. I've never really liked corn either. I'm more of a broccoli type of person, so we're gonna throw that back down. Seashell. Oh, I almost broke a tooth! Wait, you're supposed to eat seashells? Texting my mom that she forgot her phone at home. Y'all better make sure y'all wash them dishes and clean up the house, too. I'll be back later. Huh? I need my phone. I gotta go. Where's my phone? What do you mean? I need my phone. You texted me, said I left my phone. Oh, I, just, uh, Dude, I texted the wrong person. What precious? I need my phone. Where's my phone? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. But you just texted me and I gotta go. They're waiting. Well, what phone are you talking about? This phone. Dude! <laughs> you can balance these three coins on the edge of this glass without making them fall. I'll give you $100, all right? Okay. But you cannot use glue to glue it to the glass, and you cannot use tape or anything like that. All right? Go ahead. Do you want the easy way or the hard way? The easy way. This is going to be fun. I mean, this is going to be fun. I'm not thirsty. All right, so we're gonna see who can guess my mom's responses. Let's get it. Money, they can give me like McDonald's or something. I'm kind of hungry. Do you have yeah, McDonald's, McDonald's money? Why don't we show me a handshake? A handshake for what? I have a handshake with all my friends. I'm, I'm not, not one of your little friends. friends. Dude. <laughs> Mom, look at this. Dude, go sit down, down somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> Mom, can we go get food? Food from where? Uh, Chick-fil-A. We got food at the house. Duh. <laughs> No, you can't get no tattoo. But me and mom let her get one. I don't care what me and mom did. Girl! Who will ruin the family vacation? All right, guys, it's Paris, a.k.a. Black Luigi. I really think that my sister, Precious, is going to ruin the trip because, um, uh, I just, um, San Sandy's going to ruin the trip because she took all my money and I'm broke. I don't really got money like that no more. My name is Jasmine, a.k.a. Sandy. I think Paris is going to ruin the family trip because he's bald. It's Paradise, aka the third sister, and I think both of them are actually pretty even, but I think Jasmine, Sandy Beauty Cheeks, is going to ruin the trip because she doesn't like to have fun. She's antisocial and boring. 
but she also can't go five minutes without peeing or eating, so I think she's gonna be really true. Hi, my name is Keisha and I'm the mother, and I think that Precious is going to ruin the family vacation trip, uh, just because she's always grouchy. My name is Precious, AKA Black Squidward, and I think everyone's ruining the family trip, except for me. Can we cook an egg outside? So today it's 116 degrees in Arizona and we wanted to see if we can cook an egg outside but we had three different ways we thought this would work but obviously my way is the correct way what you want to do is get a foil pan because foil rhymes with boil meaning it's going to boil 10 times faster than any other pot would and oh wait a minute I forgot you got to also throw in the eggshells because white attracts heat neutrons and protons which is going to make it cook way faster than anything else no that's not the correct way you're supposed to use the red pot because it absorbs heat no actually if you blow your breath on there it'll cook faster because your breath is hot <laughs> ah no that's not how you do so it what you're supposed to do is use a magnifying glass because the sun isn't just enough for it to cook the eggs it you're is enough what are you the, talking the about from the what sun to reflect on no, the No, you're not even supposed to use those glasses, you're cheating. To reflect onto the egg so what? that it boil up more often. But anyways, this is the result after 30 minutes and obviously... No, you're still using that magnifying glass, that's yeah. cheating. You guys, blow this video up for part two. We're going to leave these sitting out here for 24 hours. All you gotta do is pop the black balloon without popping the white balloon and I'll give you $40, all right? But here's the catch. You cannot untie the balloon, right? And you mm -hmm. cannot pop the white balloon, but the black balloon needs a pop, all right? Okay. All right, so go ahead. Do you want the easy way or the hard way? What's the hard way? I get a stick with oil and poke it through. And you're sure that's gonna work? Yeah. Then I want the other way. I want the easy way. Okay. Remember I said the white balloon cannot pop. You can't untie it in the black... Safety first. What? Put these on. Safety first. Like I was saying, the black balloon needs to pop without the... What's that supposed to do? One, two, three. Woo! No, I made that. Are you serious? No, I I made it in. Are you serious? No, you did not. You literally watched the video again. Okay, you can put the other one on. Okay, you can put the other one on. Okay, you can put the other one on. only black and white so today food i'm starting out my morning bright and early at 6 a.m with some eggs but i had one problem i can only eat white foods for today and we got egg yolk in here but fear not my sister taught me this trick if you get a bottle and squeeze it it sucks up the egg yolks like a vacuum stop playing so now i got the egg whites about to cook it but before we do that we got to make sure the pan is very well lubricated with uh, this non-stick spray you feel me so the egg don't stick to the pan i don't want no sticky eggs Crack it in there. Stop playing. Look at it looking delicious. Added a little bit of salt. Mix it up and oh, it was delicious and nutritious. Stop playing. Now Dre ate cereal, but we don't even got no milk. Hey, you ain't got no milk? What do you mean? My dad hasn't came back with the milk yet. I've been waiting. For you know what? I'm saying. Man, he's good. Same, same bro. Even if I did have milk, this man's supposed to be eating black foods for today. So luckily for him, he had a bottle of his uh, dirty bath water, I guess. For lunch at 2 p.m., I had some albino spaghetti with chicken. Oh, my God, it was hitting. Dre had some black beans. Uh, I, I guess they was good. Ugh. Now for dinner, I wanted something black and white that we can both eat. Like, what is black and white that's in my house that we can eat up? Oh, yes, I got the perfect idea. My favorite Oreo. You guys, comment down below. What's your favorite part of the Oreo? All right, look, you can get this wire to spin on the top of this battery, 
without the battery falling or the wire falling, then I'll give you $60, all right? But if you can't do it, you got to give me $60, all right? Go ahead. Here we got hiccups. You're just nervous, huh? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's harder than you thought, isn't it? Am I allowed to bend this? Uh, go ahead. You can bend it to a triangle. You can bend it to a, a Octavius, a square. Girl, it doesn't even matter. Like a sphere. <laughs> just remember, I said like, you, like you can't fall. The battery can't fall, and then like you just, you, the wire can't fall off the battery, and it has to spin around like. All right, look, you can get this cross to go out of this bottle without touching the cross at all or using anything to touch it, I'll give you $50, all right? So you cannot touch the toothpick, cannot touch the straw, can't touch the cross at all, all right? So go ahead. <laughs> you notice that doesn't work, right? You know why that doesn't work? Because the chemicals in the air mix when you're blowing it, E equals MC squared, Newton's theory doesn't let you. The air pressure from the top molecules and the protons and the electrons do not let it blow out. So when you're blowing up, the inwards motion of the air is causing the, the atoms and to just combine and compress in the bottle. So it's not really working. So you, which you like... <laughs> like I said, to the second power, there's... No way that this is possible because the air is thicker than the, the volume. Oh! Oh! You're missing! You're missing! You're going on the ground! Oh. Who's Jewel? Jules was my first love. I'd like to remember it that way. Ten, Sandy Cheeks! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Dang! Okay, you got what? Three hundred? Okay. Black Squidward! Nine, eight, seven, six, five. I was, I was, uh, it's cause, cause like you had two on your plane and two drops, so like I was trying to like put them so um, one, two, three. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, mm -hmm. three, I know I just got like three hundred dollar bill on that one. <laughs> Really? 